Hello everybody, welcome back. <sighs> it's cold outside and the heater in my store hasn't been working the last couple of days, so this time it's not the lighting, it's me being cold. It appears we have my bloomers. Let's see what they look like. Hopefully they fit. I don't have a full size mirror, so I can't do a try on for you. If I wear a long enough sweater, I can get away with the fact that they don't have pockets. It says online seller, Fort, Fort Worth, Texas. And it's got my lip. I don't know why I've got two, two labels on here. Good. I guess because one is a post office. And then it's a regular shipping. Well. Companies, I feel. I've never heard of them before. Ooh. Again, silky. Care instructions hand wash. Oh boy. Do not wring, do not tumble dry, do not bleach. Cool iron, tumble, no, hang dry. So these can't even go in the washing machine. Let's see if we can tell what they're made of. So we've got a tag in here somewhere. No tags. Hmm. And it is an extra large, which is what I wear. It's the largest size I could get. The waist looks like it'll fit. Maybe if I pause this for a second, maybe I can see. I got this upside down one. Pause this. Back. They fit. And of course, they have, like I said, like I said they have to be hand washed. A nice ruffles on the bottom, double ruffle, and they're satiny. And they'll go perfectly with that look I was trying to do with the big oversized sweaters and the ruffly pants. But tomorrow I'm going to be wearing my boots, so these won't look too great with boots. Yeah, wear those with hiking boots, winter boots. I'd really be. They'd be like, now we know she's crazy. Yeah, I was really cold today, so these would not be warm enough. But they do fit. Um, sorry. I'm going to have to look that label up and see if they're a good clothing label or not. Again, it's from China. But the fit is good. They're comfortable, they're true to size. I ordered an extra large, and that's exactly what I got. Uh, unfortunately, they're satiny. They're made to be, I guess they're made to be a Lolita type thing. So, which is probably why they're satiny. I would have preferred something a little more cotton, which is hard to get. I want freaking cotton bloomers, and everybody wants to make them silky. Or that one pair that I got that was, um, was supposed to be linen, you know, two pairs I got that were supposed to be linen, one of which was supposed to be, I guess, more like, look, to me, it looked like it was to be like a linen ticking. Well, yeah, we saw what happened with that. But, um, I wear them to work. Um, well, I will wear them to work. Um, this, the fit is more comfortable than, be, to be honest, the,
the other bloomers I got, and I Scarlet Darkness, yeah. They 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 fit better than Scarlet Darkness. They're a lot more comfortable. Uh, those are the right you know extra large in there. They fit except for when I'm bloated, and then they're snug. So these are a lot more a, a lot more relaxed fit. Definitely not as expensive, but more comfortable. Um, be nice if they well they're not meant to have pockets, but that's my review of I feel. I feel, I feel, uh, bloomers, um, again, no invoice, uh, which is strange, um, they're silky, again, the material is not what I thought it would be, maybe if I read the, you know, read the, I need to start reading the descriptions better, but they're comfortable, they are silky, I, again, I want more, more of a cotton bloomer, Kind of thing that seems to be hard to find, but other than that, you know, again, aside from the material, they are comfortable, and I'm going to look them up online and make sure that they aren't another knockoff. But judging by the quality of the tag this time, I'm not sure. Um, again, bedding should be coming bed hopefully this coming week on the weekend fingers crossed uh, bloomers are here uh, I ended up spending another hundred bucks on groceries because I want to make sure I've got food for this week um, we may or may not be getting at least another six inches of snow Eesh. well I don't well by another I don't mean we had to, haven't had six inches since I've been here I've been here since October um, She's supposed to be getting six inches, possibly a foot in some places. As long as that's not here, we'll be fine. Um, as in my area, that would be a pain in the butt because I don't have a shovel. Um, again, this is a very short video. Um, I got some more beers. I wanted, again, I wanted to make sure I was ready in case it snowed. I got the th uh, Three Sheeps Brewing Explorer pack, and um, this 12 pack has coconut beer in it. So be looking for a coconut beer review. Um, and there's some other flavors in there as well. So it's a four. It's a. It's a it's a mix pack. Uh, four beers, three of each. So. I will probably do, at some point, do all of them. Um, I, to go with my theme of Sugar Skulls and Skulls, I got this. I don't usually get Stella Rosa. I got it for the bottle. I mean, how could I not? It's the most I've spent on wine in a while. And look at the lid. Look at that. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll give maybe we'll do a, a wine review since it's blooming. So, video is so short. Hang on, guys. And we're back. Sorry for the dirty glass. Look at the cat. It's cute. Yeah, you might see some mixed reviews on here. At some point, when there's small, you know, small orders like this, I might, I might try to like. Let's just put the seat in see this glass. Oh, you still can't see it. It's a big bottle. I'm gonna need both hands. There we go. That coaster underneath does not have. clear on it yet. Now we'll find out how waterproof my dock rider is. But this appears to be fizzing. It's a low alcohol grape wine specialty with natural flavor. It's got some fizz to it. And we got a little bit on the on the one that I 
That one got wet and I haven't even put clear on it yet. That's a beer, my beer box, so it should be fine. That wood is a little stained now, so I'm going to have to not use it. I'm going to rinse that. How's Gothrider gasoline doing? Ooh, we got enough clear on this guy because that wiped off perfectly the way it was supposed to. So let's give this a taste, shall we? It smells. It's it not like my usual wine. Usually I get like I said, Cabernets, Pinot Noirs, Red Blunt, occasional Shiraz. But this is just flavored wine. Let's see. It's almost like a sangria. It tastes like it has other fruit flavors in it. It doesn't say. Wine, water, grape must, sugar, grape skin, extract added for color, natural flavors. And it's a semi-sweet. It's, well, it's technically not a sangria, but it's similar to a sangria. It's kind of like a fruit punch. It's very good, very sessionable. Again, so this is a low alcohol wine. So you could share this with your friends. I still wouldn't recommend driving after having several because wine is wine. Alcohol is alcohol. But this is just, it's perfect after, well, I just had a, a rough day at work. It was cold outside, cold inside. Like I said, my hands turned purple. I bought myself a bag of these warm my hands up. I'll put some in my purse and save some in the apartment. That way I have them. Um, those things work pretty well, by the way. Um, one of the co-workers gave me hers she hadn't finished using, and I used, I used, I used them, and one of my other co-workers had cold hands, too, so I gave her one. We each, we each had one, and it was, they stayed warm the rest of the shift. So those things, I can tell you, they work. This is cocktail aromata, aromatiza, aromatizado a base di prodotti viti vinicoli. So it's basically it's a wine cocktail, is what it is. It's not straight up wine. Um, again, not a sangria, but it is a cocktail of some sort with fruit flavors. So the wine, the wine blend, well, wine cocktail. Definitely, definitely good. I haven't tried it before. I've been putting off trying it. I don't usually like sweet wines. This one is good for a sweet wine. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. So this is, this is pleasant. It's fun. It's fruity. Very sessionable. Uh, be good with friends, you know, dinner, dessert. Because it's sweetened, it's not really a dinner wine. I, again, I would say this is like more of a dessert wine. Kind of like some of the beers we have are dessert beers. So I'm, so basically, it's a di more of a dessert wine. You know, maybe after after dinner or before dinner. Um, fruit, desserts, sweets, mainly cheese. Um, whatever you like. Uh, the blimmers, true to size, they fit well. They're very comfortable. Nice elastic waist. Um... Not sure of the manufacturer. I will have I will keep the tag and look it up and let you know. If it's not a reputable site, I will put up another video on that because I did post some fake clothing sites. Again, um, Rose Lynn Lynn was not reputable. They were basically a scam. 
they ripped off Miss Look and several other designers where the items were over a hundred, supposed, you know, the actual items are over a hundred bucks. Excuse me, those of us on a tight budget can't afford that. And, um, the knockoffs were pleasant, but not, the quality wasn't anywhere near, excuse me, what the picture. This, they look like the picture. Um, uh, they're long bloomer pants. That's what I was looking for. I didn't read the specs as to the type of material. Again, that's my, well, in this case, that's my fault. The other ones, I thought they were linen or cotton. You know, so that was totally a different story. We've been over that road. That's been explained. Don't buy from them. If you can afford the actual Miss Look and the other designers that are on Etsy or wherever they're at, go ahead and go with those. If you can't, don't go to Rose Lynn Lynn, and there were several other sites as well. They've been taken off of Facebook, obviously. So be careful when you're shopping. Again, um, I didn't do any homework on this one because I was just looking for bloomer pants. And I got what I paid for. These were a little bit more expensive. They were like 26, 26 bucks. They're worth the 26 bucks. Although I'm going to keep looking and try to find the kind of material that I really want. But these are, out of the bloomers I've gotten, the several pair I've bought, these are the most comfortable by far. Most true to size. And will I wear them to work? Oh, heck yeah, I'll wear them to work. I wore my Scarlet Darkness to work. They didn't say a darn thing. They're, you know, capri length or longer. Um, if I wear a big enough top, they can't tell it doesn't have pockets. So if you can get away with wearing them to work, by all means, go for it. You don't have to be a Lolita. Again, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do my own kind of goth look. With big baggy, um, semi-constructed sweaters. I haven't done the sweater part yet because, well, the t-shirt I got, I was wanting to get a sweater. The sweater was more expensive. Uh, if I can find a sweater similar to the one I would have originally wanted, I will get it. And I'm going to try to come, I'm going to try to come up with my own, you know, I try to come up with my own look anyway. So I want to try and see if I can make that a thing for me. And if anybody else wants to copy it, go for it. But I just haven't found the, all the right pieces yet. And you've seen my um, outfit videos further down in the library. When I first started the channel, I did more of those. I, again, I keep saying I need to get back into those. I need to get a full length mirror so I can so I can show you some of the things I've bought and mix and match some more stuff. Like um, the Freaking Me Out t-shirt works really well with the select gold and black celestial print leggings. And they would also look, as I showed you, and it would also look good with, I think I showed you, it would also look good with those yoga pants. As well as um, the black and, per black and blue polka dot jeans. Well, I've kept you long enough. We did, once again, we did another double review. I, I will be doing those more often if I have something to show you and it doesn't take up enough time and I want to not post this really tiny video to my channel, I will combine things. Again, this is good. I recommend it. If you're light, fruity, flavorful, sweet, kind of like a sangria, but not as sweet as a sangria. It doesn't have that fruit punch flavor, but it does have a fruity flavor. So it's a nice light cocktail. And the bloomers are everything I expected, except they were sucky. So we'll wrap that up. Um, if you like my videos, um, please give them a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe, please, and hit the bell for notifications so you see me in your inbox more often. Um, again, 
I don't feel like dealing with the usual stuff. Stuff I don't want to sound like a canned public service announcement. So I'll dispense with all of that and just tell you to be safe. It is winter. It's been a weird winter. Stay warm. Take care. Take care of your monsters. And if you, you know, okay, if you do drag and drive, but take turns. I'll let you guys see you next time with this new temporary abode. And hopefully we can do a few more, a few more things to decorate it a little bit. We can't do much. Love you guys. Bye.